Do you want to learn some qualitative market research tips? Qualitative and quantitative research go hand in hand. While both types of market research are very necessary, it's important to know which type of data will help your company the most. If you're looking for more than just a collection of data points, qualitative market research is the tool to use. Whether that's learning about your customer's behavior or their purchasing motivations, qualitative market research is the way to go. I'm Noel with JotForm. And in today's video, we'll touch on four simple tips you can implement in your qualitative market research to get the results you want and need. Let's go. As I mentioned before, qualitative and quantitative research go hand in hand. And although you usually don't hear about one without the other, it's important to know how they differ. When it comes to getting to the core of an issue, really understanding the underlying assumptions and considerations surrounding it, qualitative research is important. Qualitative research is less about the numbers and more about the feelings. It's best for gaining insight into more subjective aspects, such as customers' emotional triggers and motivators. This can otherwise be hard to gather since some customers aren't even aware of many of those things themselves. Another thing is to consider your audience sample. What is the dynamic of your chosen participant sample? The type of people you plan to ask questions to will absolutely affect your results. Ask yourself if you want to interview people who fit a certain customer persona or a random sampling. This audience sample you land on will directly impact the info you receive. Think about this. A sampling of your typical persona types might confirm some information you're already aware of. What good will that study do? Perhaps interviewing a randomized sampling will reveal new and enlightening information instead. The next tip is to find the best method for data gathering for your company. There's the obvious choice of interviews, but you could also conduct an observational study or even a group-oriented method. Decide which method will provide you with the best results for your particular study. Some of the most common qualitative research methods are face-to-face -face interviews, focus groups, and direct observation. Face-to-face -face interviews allow for very detailed responses. The interview can ask follow-up questions and dig deep into the reasons behind the answers. Focus groups let you gather opinions from multiple people at once. A great moderator is key to getting the group to fully engage, allowing you to extract helpful information. Direct observation means you're observing participants in their natural habitat without interfering. This method is great for tracking consumer behavior. All three methods have something unique and great to offer as far as gathering information goes. Whichever method you choose, make it a point to incorporate a wide variety of stimuli to help participants accurately communicate their thoughts and feelings. For example, let's say you're doing a study on a specific product. Let participants interact with the product and try to engage as many of their senses as possible, like sight, touch, taste, smell, and hearing. Doing so will encourage many reactions and insights. Lastly, our tip for a great qualitative market research venture is to use open-ended questions. Again, qualitative research is all about feelings and deeper ideas and thoughts. Ditch the simple yes or no questions and maintain open dialogue so participants can feel free to fully express themselves. For example, you're conducting a qualitative research study on a new product line of stoves. One of the participants you're interviewing is a customer who owns one of the older models. Don't ask questions like, do you like your current stove? Or would you be interested in a new stove from us? Those simple yes or no responses won't give you much. Instead, examples of more helpful questions would be, what do you like or dislike about your current stove? How much would you be willing to pay for the new and improved stove? These questions allow your participant to share what they think and how they feel. And in doing so, you can better gauge what motivates your customer. Conducting market research is a crucial part of the success of your company. Knowing which types of questions to ask to get the results you need is a significant part of what makes companies successful. Let's do a quick review. If you're ready to conduct some qualitative market research, here are four helpful tips. Understand how qualitative market research differs from quantitative. Spend some time considering your audience sample. Choose the best method to use for gathering data and use open-ended questions when conducting your research. Done right, market research can be extremely valuable. 
With those simple tips in mind, your qualitative research efforts will be extremely successful. I'm Noel with JotForm. We'll see you next time.